This week on Sail Away. Rum tour number two. With the stresses of searching for a new catamaran and selling our own boat upon us, we lose ourselves in the sights and tastes of the island. John Deere Green in Martinique. And speaking of the catamaran search, we have some news. We think we have secured a boat. It's got so much character and it's such a good sailing boat, such a good brand. But in the past, this same process has definitely caused some issues. I, uh, I tend to let the stress of it kind of get the best of me. Gosh, that was kind of the hardest year of my life in a lot of ways. I really let it get to me. I'm trying really hard not to let the sale of this boat and the search for the new boat get me down in that place again. That's why we have this set up, just for the creeps. But real life stresses are not, boat life still goes on. What do you suppose I'm doing this morning? Never a dull moment when you have a water maker. And I'm about to undertake a new challenge. Lauren and Rivers are leaving me all by myself here for two weeks. <laughs> it's gonna have so much fun. I'm gonna be so freaking bored. I am definitely not prepared for this. Ever wish you could escape normal life and experience more of the world? So meet me on that island. Well, we did just that. We sold everything we owned on dry land and sailed away. Promise me that we'll sail away. Now we are roaming the planet in search of new adventures and sharing it with you every week. Just promise me that we'll sail away. So hit subscribe and escape normal with us. I'll be yours forevermore. Come on, it's just that little button down there. That's it. With our time on Martinique dwindling and a car briefly at our disposal, it was time to go absorb a little more culture of the island. Rum tour number two. Trois rivières, three rivers. We're basically uh, just making use of our car. So rare to have a car that when we have a car, we use every last minute of it to do something. And we've driven past Trois Rivieres several times now. That's pretty cool. This is much more like a nuts and bolts kind of farm than Clement. Clement. Clement, they had set up to make a pretty fancy tourist place. This one looks nice, but it's not. It doesn't look like a park. But it's not that I'm complaining. That it does have a lot of tractors and rivers. She's really excited about that. And a little gift shop over here. That's cool. Ooh, they got drinks. The Amazon du Coco. Looks like it. Well, our tour today of Trois Rivieres is not five euros a piece, it's free. Sometimes it actually pays to be a stupid American who doesn't know any French, or very little. She spoke pretty good English, actually, but the tour will be in French. <laughs> so she just gave us a handy-dandy little uh, map and pointed us on our way and said, you get it for free because I can't speak that much English. And actually, no, I guess no, this is in English. We can figure out a lot of this. We're getting better at deciphering, deciphering French. Better than listening and deciphering, at least. <laughs> Cool. They grow the sugar cane in the fields, and then they crush it, and then they cook it. Brief refreshment stop. It's a hot day. Well, glace, passion, and le. You're a tour guide. <laughs> 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 
That's the tour that we can't understand fully, but we get these nice signs. That's called a flywheel. That's just a big diameter weighted wheel. And once it gets moving, it keeps things going in a smooth, steady pace without the motor having to work extra hard. They use flywheels in a lot of different ways in motors. For fermentation bats. Filtered and pumped into the fermentation bat. Good job. Yeah. It burns in the oven to so produce steam. The steam will then supply the steam machine. Distillation columns. Distillation columns. Yep. And now for the part that Rivers is really interested in. That's a harvester. Good old John Deere. John Deere Green in Martinique. There's another one over there. Yeah. That's a Hyundai. That's not as exciting. I wish we could get in. No, this isn't part of the tour. This is their actual machinery they use to, to harvest their sugar cane. Wait, and so is it's... Actually the honey. Honey? Uh, the honey? Uh-huh. And have one way. Could I try the 12 out. year? Honey, honey? It's like the, the pineapple butter. Pineapple butter? First off, you can't find good pancake mix in the French country. We tried, and there's no Bisquick or anything like that. We've made our own out of flour and all that, and they come out pretty well. But, you know, when in Rome, I don't know what they eat in Rome, but when in France, eat crepes. So, we have, we have to do a, a, a translation every time, even though it's the simplest thing in the world. So, literally. One package, half a liter of milk, and a tablespoon of oil, and a really, really, really hot skillet for your crepes. Triple syrup. Triple syrup, man. And of course, everybody knows that crepes, crepes cook way better on butane. That's why we have this set up, just for the crepes. <laughs> <laughs> that joke really funny. <laughs> I do think I'm funny, baby. They're really, 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 really thin, and it goes against everything in my in my being to not do something to thicken them up. Your crepe will be a gold and a brown. That was an obscure reference. Anyone? Anyone? After a basting, you'll find that your bird will come out a golden brown. Every succulent morsel will simply melt in your mouth. Cool. 
You ready? Delicious. Breakfast. You should try the most it. American and French breakfast. You should try it on your. Okay. Well. I'm sure we will. Two thumbs up. Nice. <laughs> Bruce's been doing some building with his magnets. I'm really building my car ship. Cool. This is a car, a car hauling ship, and it fits. What was it? Fifty cars. Yeah. Which was I'm doing this morning. Yeah, working on the boat. More specifically, the water maker. Never a dull moment when you have a water maker. And man, I would just, I really like some dull moments. I shouldn't complain because actually this thing has been working really, really well for, wow, I mean, probably, yeah, since we put the new membrane in in December. I haven't really had any big problems with it but it has one fairly new preed feed pump and one uh, a little older the older one had a newer diaphragm pump head on it while the <laughs> newer one had the older head well the older pump just quit completely died and it's not an electrical supply problem or any kind of mechanical issue with the diaphragm it just literally the pump body motor just doesn't work now. So that cuts our production down to roughly half. I don't know what it's going to take for me to find a new pump. There might be one in the chandleries in here. I'm going to go look. But until then, I, I took the one pump off and removed the, the better diaphragm pump off of it and swapped those. So I just put that better diaphragm pump on the newer pump that still works. And that meant since the pumps are run in parallel so that we can have a one or two pump system, it meant I had to take apart some hoses and reroute a couple things so that this is directly in the flow and we don't just have a couple of random hoses spewing water everywhere. So I just got that hooked up and I'm about to mount it back up to its little uh, nesting cradle with our zip ties. Hopefully it all works. It should and not leak. And then I'll do what I can to see if I can get another pump. Well, we got a few things happening today. Mostly you just keep seeing us eating things or making food. But it's, uh, while it's mostly been a work day, uh, the other thing that we have done is spent a lot of time on the phone with a boat seller. I'm gonna go see if, if I'm allowed to tell news or not. But in the meantime, what else happened? I, got, I lost a tooth. You lost another tooth. I'm not gonna have you show the camera until you're done eating though. Okay, we'll try it. There we go, that bottom one. Rivers pulled it out himself. And this is he needed some quick cash. Where is... Mm -hmm. We put it in a safe place before we put it under a pillow tonight. We're not Where's sure if the Tooth Fairy pays U.S. funds to a U.S. kid or in local currency. I guess we'll find out tonight. Or tomorrow, you know. Cause right, tomorrow. You always check. Tom tomorrow morning's when you'll find out, yeah. yeah. We'll put the pillow under your tooth, or put your tooth under the pillow tonight. <laughs> you said pillow under the tooth. Daddy is often confused, yes. So, anyway, Lauren and Rivers are leaving me all by myself here for two weeks. <laughs> it's going to have so much fun. I'm going to be so freaking bored. I'm going to work my ass off on this boat, just getting things cleaned and polished. Mm -hmm. And probably do some videos in your absence, or at least the remainder of them. I got my own projects to do. It's going to be a busy two weeks, but I think I'm going to get pretty lonely. <laughs> None of our friends are here anymore. All the boats we knew have moved on, so I'm just here with a bunch of French strangers. They're only strangers until you ask them their name. 
This yeah. is what Rivers says. According to Rivers, yeah. <laughs> and it's true. It's true. <laughs> All right, folks. We will catch you on the flip side. Everyday stresses may be the number one thing we set out on this lifestyle to get away from. But no matter how successful we may have been, when you make a big life change, those stresses come rushing right back in. And the stresses, both financial and other, of trying to sell the home that you're traveling on, while also trying to secure a new home in potentially a completely different location, are pretty substantial. But we definitely count our blessings and cope in the only ways we know how. Well, this is our night spot that we come to almost every evening if we're anchored near Le Moran, which we have been for the last week and a half. That anchorage that we're in is kind of the quietest anchorage around here for doing work. This is just the place where I think it's mostly the locals, but some of the sailors too, some of the boats. Their kids come and ride scooters and bicycles, and after a few nights of rivers, borrowing, riding along with uh, on their bikes, well, we broke down and, and went and got him one at the uh, Decathlon, which is the big sports store here. And he loves it. He is just riding, 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 riding. That's what he wants to do every evening. Um, we have our sundowners on the boat, or we just bring one in here. Lauren is, tonight, Lauren is working on our video, trying to finish up for tomorrow. She and Rivers are leaving on Tuesday, so she's actually getting some extra editing done so that I can kind of bring home a couple videos while she's gone and we can get one out tomorrow. So yeah, she's working ahead a little bit. And I am bringing the two animals in for their uh, exercise. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had kind of a big day today, man. We think we've secured a boat, and it's not its not 100%, so I've, I've got a reserve being uh, too amped up about it, but there's only so much I can tamp myself down because I'm really excited about this boat. I think it's going to be... That's, that's mine, screaming. I think it's going to be really good for us. The space on there is great, and... It's got so much character and it's such a good sailing boat, such a good brand. I think we're gonna be able to do such cool things to it and make it awesome. When it comes to boat transactions and buying boats and selling boats, I, uh, I tend to let the stress of it kinda get the best of me, really bring me down. The uh, last time we did this, when we sold Layla in December, we bought Cecilia in May. Gosh, that was kind of the hardest year of my life in a lot of ways. We had just moved to Florida and the stress of the, dealing with the money and dealing with the sale of our boat and trying to find a new boat and trying to figure out how to finance it, how to get all of the, the equation to work. I really let it get to me. I'm trying really hard not to let this transaction and the sale of this boat and the search for the new boat get me down in that place again. Because that was, that was not a good time. It was great once we got it all sorted out. So I'm trying really hard not to let that become the same sort of ball of stress that it was that year. Because that was not a happy time for me until we actually had the boat and we were moving on to Georgia. Then suddenly, I was in one of the best places I've ever been in my life. So, I'm going to try to take all these steps in stride. No matter how many deals we maybe potentially think we've got and lose this time, there's always another boat. Uh, there's always another avenue. And I know we'll be fine. We'll make it work. Regardless, River's having a good time, and we're going to grab a pizza. For dinner tonight. All right, y'all. Cheers. We'll talk to you later.
this has been pretty much Lauren's demeanor for the last two days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rivers is ready. Turn around. Ready. Don't fall over. You're doing your part. You're going to carry that the whole time, right? You're not going to wimp out and give That's it to mommy. So Mommy's got. Heavy. She's got a ton of things to carry already. You got. You got to do your part. Help her out. You can do it. My shoulders. You can take it off. You're not going anywhere yet. But very soon. Hey, is this mine? About I know, what, 15 minutes or something we'll okay, head in. Fine. We got a rental car that we uh, went and did a big grocery trip yesterday to kind of stock up on some things at the awesome French grocery stores. And groceries aren't as, aren't as great down in Grenada, so there's a few things we kind of stocked up on and they got about a bazillion snacks for the trip. I know, I'm leaving some here. I know, I saw. And I already bought a bunch of snacks for myself too. Yeah. I'm going to be a bachelor for two weeks. I don't this is going to be weird, man. Not only do I have to be without these two for two weeks, which we've never gone that long. I think the longest any of us have been away from each other has been about a week. But <laughs> I'm pretty much alone. <laughs> All the boats uh, with people we know, all new friends, old friends, have already moved on. They're on their way down either to SVG or Grenada. It's just me and Zeke. Rivers, <laughs> wait. You're back back. With us? No, just inside. Don't be sad. You don't tell me as soon as you get there. It's be really, really good today, okay? It's gonna be a long day of travel, so be good tomorrow. Alright. Selfie kiss. Excited? 